It's a legit boss, Sasha Banks. This is NXT Women's Champion Bailey. And you are listening and watching The Revolution. Subscribe. Stay tuned. Every week. There you go. Hey and welcome back to The Revolution. Something a little bit different on the channel today is earlier this week I got the awesome opportunity to play WWE 2K18 thanks to 2K and I have to say it looks phenomenal. I know we kind of say this every year, it always looks brilliant when we first see screenshots and trailers and gameplay videos but literally it does, it looks amazing. Sometimes the games don't really live up to the things like the trailers and the screenshots but I definitely have to say it plays just as good as those things, if not even better. <laughs> and it kind of makes you think if they'd maybe dropped the last gen version a little sooner, how far would it have gone now? But it definitely makes me look so much more forward to how things are going to evolve over the years. Even things like now we've got better lighting and shadows and things in, just how with new advanced technology and things, just how great it will look in years to come. Now when we got to play, granted we did play it on the PlayStation Pro so you do get like the very best and it wasn't on a 4K TV so it makes you think if we play it on the 4K TV um, just how great it will look and like I said earlier it really does look phenomenal. I, I just remember sat there in total awe of things like even the smallest of tiny details on the top rock turnbuckle you could see like the clasps with the, the ring ropes and things like that and one thing which kind of sounds disgusting but I was, I was completely in awe of was it was the sweat running down the wrestler's back. I remember sitting there watching John Cena and you could literally follow your eye with the sweat being running down his back and it does sound disgusting but when you think of something like that that doesn't really need to be in the game, fair enough, it looks great, it's not, it's not an important part of the game yet, it's in there and it looks amazing it makes you think well what are some of these other things gonna look like we know that the crowd looks good even the ring post like the whole led thing throughout the match it literally looks as if so much work has gone into that ring post and it looks amazing i know i keep saying it but it really doesn't i can't wait for people to get their hands on it and just see how good it really does look the screenshots always look great but it does it looks phenomenal even though I only had the SummerSlam build, which a lot of people have already seen, we've had the B-roll footage and things like that, and obviously a lot of the other YouTubers have spoke about their experiences, and we've seen odd things from the 2K dev account and things, it, it shows so much promise, and there's so many things where there's been small intricate details that have been changed upon, and just very, very small things, but overall it creates a more well-balanced experience. Like, We've already seen the Elimination Chamber things where they've changed the entrance so you'll do part of your entrance and then it'll it'll transition into something else where they'll then make their way into the ring. Small things like that where you probably don't think, oh, it's just something different and it is exciting but overall it adds to the experience and it feels more lifelike and even though I did know an awful lot going into it, I don't think I realised how great some of these transitions were and just how lifelike things were. There was there was so many experiences. Every match kind of felt like I was watching WWE TV and I know a lot of people say that and a lot of the fans will say, oh, we're just yes people and we're gonna praise it, it looks brilliant, but it literally did. That's not to say there wasn't bugs because there was bugs and I did get caught on the ring rope and things like that, but bear in mind this isn't the full the full version of the game so there is going to be things like that there's things like that with every other game in the world so it's bound to be here but the transitions and just the overall pace of the match for all that we were told it would be faster which it is it doesn't feel arcadey it feels natural and just the transitions from move to move they just look so good and it's probably going to sound weird but is me as someone controlling someone, I like to kind of feel that impact of move, like when you punch someone, you don't want it to feel like, oh, it's just a punch. The superstar reacts to that punch and it just felt real, the bumps felt real and you kind of sit there thinking, oh, that move looks painful and they have brought that in over the last few years, making things look more impactful, but it was just to that next level yet again. One of my favourite things that I did experience during the match, one of my matches where I was playing against AJ Styles, it was just the AI. I, I'd had a few matches with Smack Talks and things and I decided I wanted to kind of see how the AI, if it had changed, how it would react to me and things like that. And 
for the most part, it, it did seem a lot like 2K17, even though it did seem a lot more aware and things like that, but I was beating AJ Styles down and and it got to kind of like the, the ending moments of the match and then completely out of nowhere, I don't know where it came from, it was almost like some sort of comeback sequence, although it wasn't an anim like it wasn't like a cutscene animation or anything like that. He he just got up and he like started pulling out these moves really, really fast. Something you would literally see on WWE TV where you see the superstars almost desperate to try and get that victory in. And I was literally sat there and told like I couldn't believe what I'd just seen and I almost had to react just as fast as he was just to kind of recover from that and because I'd already beaten him down throughout the match he then had to kind of recover from not only that burst of energy but the beat down prior to that and he did the thing that we saw last year where they crawl over and then they try and pin you and it just looked so good and like I said earlier it did feel like you're just watching WWE and as a player, it brought that excitement back, which I don't think we've seen for, for quite some time. Now, I know like 2 k have brought these realistic life-like elements back in, but I think a lot of the time, it, it kind of felt kind of like some of the superstars last year. It felt dead behind the eyes. It, it had realistic, but it, it was sometimes missing that fun factor, whereas if this is how the AI is going to react now, I think that brings a whole new element and we play factor to it. And, I just can't wait to have these sort of like David and Goliath type matches where you'll have like this dominant superstar fighting and then maybe the lightweight or whatever will just somehow out of nowhere pull out these great moves to try and balance the match back out and, and it does literally make you think, well if this was just now, this playtest, what's going to happen when we have like other match types? This was just an ordinary no disqualification singles match and obviously we've got things like ladder matches and things like that. So to see how that will evolve through different types of matches, I really, really can't wait. <laughs> you know, I do have to say that my favourite thing by far is what I played with at least was the dragon carry system. It, it's so good. I know that I did. I totally abused it. I think I think that's the thing when you get like this new element to a game, kind of like the backstage ball last year, you do abuse it the first time you play with it. And we ain't got 90 minutes to play it and I didn't get bored of it whatsoever. I felt like even though I'd played it for, the, for that long, there was still so much more I could do. And and it kind of opens the games up to, like, we've already got a hell of a lot of moves in the game, there's hundreds, and it feels like it almost opens the game up to more moves that you can do in the ring. And like I said on Twitter earlier in the week, it kind of almost makes the WWE arena and the ring almost brand new weapons in themselves. We tried things like the top rope turnbuckle, the apron, the steel steps, which I love that. I, I think there's a great, sounds silly, there's a great thud when you crash someone down on those steel steps. You've got um, the outside aprons and things like that. It, it was just so good. We didn't get to try the raw announce table. I know that it was locked because they haven't quite got those nitty gritty details down yet. We did want to try that, but obviously over the next few weeks there are some other events and things where hopefully they will be ironed out for fans to play at events such as EGX and we've got a little something planned later on down the line so hopefully I do get to try that out because it was nice to see that the brand new Raw announce table up the top did have something different. Um, so I, I want to see if it's like a new oh my god moment because obviously you're not going to be able to dive from the top rope onto that unless it's some really really huge trickery or some hack. Um, but yeah, I really want to see what you can do with that. See, there literally was so many moves and things we tried because of the carry and drag and using the environment as a weapon. We tried things like the buckle bomb, which transitions into this awesome, kind of like the Cesaro swing and it has this great clash sequence with the barricade and it not only looks great, but it felt good. It felt like we'd literally just took this nasty bump to the opponent and it was, <laughs> I know I keep saying it over and over and over again, but it was just like something of WWE TV. And if you get these people, like, I know there's a lot of colleagues out there and things like that, it'll be great to see how they kind of sequence those with other moves to kind of have that flow of natural TV. Because obviously, there is players. I, I like to try and, like, flip between the two. Sometimes I do like to play arcade style. But overall, when, when you do see some of my videos, I do kind of like to tell the story as I play, so 
I think if you play like that and then you have these awesome moments and then God knows what these OMG moments are going to look like. I, I just can't wait to see what kind of stories people tell with the rings and just the moves that you can do with these kind of carry and drag things. And it, it, it's, it's kind of this really exciting time, not only because I've experienced, but I, I can't wait to see what people create with it. You could, you could perform finishes from the carry and drag system. I only got to try the John Cena one out myself. I know there was a few other people in the room who said that they'd managed to do it with Seth Rollins, but for me, I only managed to do the air from the powerbomb stance, and it wasn't clunky, it kind of transitioned, not really quick, but enough that it felt natural, and and it just kind of makes you think that, how are these spots going to happen? I think you're going to literally have people out of nowhere pulling off these awesome spots, and like I said earlier, it just, it kind of presents more opportunities, and more moves that we already had but this is like out there even more and it'll be great to see what kind of sequences we do get now there is things that i can't discuss just yet but i will say that there are some really really exciting things coming up from the 2k series and i do have to say i'm not just being one of those yes people this literally does feel like the best iteration of the game today i think it's an experience overall i only got 90 minutes and and I, did, I came out feeling really excited for the series and <laughs> I was kind of like, I don't want to play 2K17, I just want that new game now and you don't have to take my word in it, that you can ask several of the other YouTubers who've either been at the event that I was here today or even the ones that were at the SummerSlam event, there's a vast variety of people and I think the general consensus is that it just looks set to be a great game and, and I just can't wait to see what the community as a whole bring together with this content and things that are going to be published once the game come, comes out. I think it's a hugely exciting time and I just want to say thank you to Tinka yet again for allowing me the opportunity to go there and I just can't wait and I can't wait for you people to like see what you can do with the game and the women's content that is something I'm really really excited about. There's I think the Korean drag system alone I want to try some things with bigger girls like Nia Jax and things like that. I want to be able to tell brand new stories that we haven't been able to tell for a while because of things like weight detection being solely to males that it's exciting it all feels fresh and I just can't wait so thank you again to 2k and I honestly can't wait for 2k18 thank you for joining me thank you for listening to me rambling on and hopefully this is the type of video that you will enjoy it's something I've never done before but I thought I'd give my take on the game and thank you for listening <laughs>